In this lesson, we're going to build the lid for our dumpster. All right, so up to this point, we've used pretty much all of the tools uh, to go through the box modeling method. And now we want to start just finishing up this asset. And we'll start talking about a few miscellaneous tools along the way. Um, for this particular uh, lesson, we're going to talk about how modifiers can help us uh, with our modeling process, even using box modeling techniques. So to get started, let's come in and let's go to our cylinder. And I'm going to create a cylinder right here in the middle. I'm going to try to get that to match up pretty close and fit right inside of that hole there. Now remember, you need to get the height before you uh, right click and go into your perspective view. So left click one more time for that height. And then we'll come in and we will push this right up to this point to where it's fitting right inside of that. Now I want to center this up just a little bit more, so I'm going to move that and position that just a little bit better. Okay, so now that we have that set, um, let's come in and let's convert it to Edible Poly because it's keeping the same settings from our last cylinder that we created. So I'm, I know that I don't have any height segments on it, so I'm just going to convert it. And let's go to Polygon Mode and I'm going to set this polygon right in the center of our dumpster. Now one quick note. Whenever you are modeling, sometimes it might be beneficial to set your object that you're modeling on or modeling to at 0, 0, 0, the origin point in your 3D space. Now let me show you why this is going to be important. If I take this dumpster, you'll notice here that my pivot point for this dumpster uh, is set at negative 2.2 and on the X and then negative 2.6 on the Y so it's a little off center. So what I can do is go ahead and set this to 0 by typing that in with my move tool activated and hitting enter and you'll see that that dumpster has now been centered up. Now we want to make sure that the actual object is centered not necessarily the pivot point. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to your hierarchy panel effect pivot only and then center it to the object itself. This is going to ensure that uh, you are typing in the actual center um, at zero zero and as you can see here it is not centered. So we want to set this to zero in our X and we'll set this to zero in our Y. So now we know that we're perfectly centered. I'm not going to worry about the Z direction because you'll notice that the pivot point is up uh, above the origin point here. Now if I wanted to, I could go ahead and set that at zero by going into effect pivot only and actually typing in zero for that pivot point. And now you'll take a look at your object and it's now set to zero, zero, zero. Now the only issue that we have now is our uh, clips are off a little bit. So we'll just have to move those back into position. And I'm going to take the cylinder that we just created and I'm going to position that as well. So with these selected, let's take our move tool and I'm going to pull that over and then reposition it on our dumpster. All right. So that looks good. And now what we can do is go ahead and continue working on that bar that goes across the center here. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to build an element right here on the end and it's going to kind of be a flare on the end of it and it's going to keep this bar from going back and forth um, through this object here. So let's convert it to Edible Poly and let's go ahead and grab Polygon Mode and let's build the end that we want for this really quickly. So I'm going to extrude this or bevel it first and let me take my extrusion amount down and then take our outline amount up so you can see that it's scaling this out. Let's hit OK on that and then we'll extrude it straight out and then we'll make that a little thinner. So we'll create this type of uh, element here. Now I'm going to inset this and we'll take my inset amount down to let's say 0.5. We'll hit OK and then I'm going to bevel that one more time but I'm going to bevel it inward. So we'll take the extrusion amount down and then our outline amount down as well. So now we have 
uh, this beveled element to our object just to give it a little more shape all right so now with this cylinder we have one little issue the polygon that we have selected here is an n-gon however it's easily dealt with if we go to vertex mode I can select this vertex at the top and also at the bottom and use connect to split that in half and then I can use my cut tool and cut across so I'm going to right click go to cut and I'll go to this vertex to here so you'll see that this is a perfect example of the cut tool and this being the best tool for this specific purpose because it's a short distance okay and it's a perfectly straight line now one other thing that you'll notice here now we have a six-sided polygon so I need to make sure that I cut across from here to here now you might be wondering okay why don't we use why don't we select those two vertices and then use connect now when I do that you'll notice nothing happens it doesn't actually connect that the reason for that is there's a sen uh, segment right in the middle of that so it doesn't know what to do with the vertex that should be right here okay so connect can only be used between vertices that have no segments in between the two so that is why the cut tool is going to be the best tool for this use so now that we have this and we've got that created let's go ahead and go back to polygon mode let's select this polygon on the end and instead of moving it to the center of the dumpster and trying to eyeball that because we have centered up the dumpster at zero 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 we can just type in zero on our y direction and we know that that is perfectly centered on this dumpster so now all I have to do is hit delete to get rid of that polygon and now I'm going to use a modifier called symmetry to get the other side so let's go to our modifier list and we're going to scroll down and we're going to use symmetry now you'll notice that symmetry doesn't work all that well it's not applying symmetry at the very center now the reason for that is because it's trying to apply symmetry to the pivot point now there's a couple of ways that we can go about um, getting this right we can expand symmetry and we can adjust the mirror and we can move that and you'll notice that that begins to lengthen and out now once we've gone too far you'll see that we get a little bit of a gap I can pull that until it snaps together at that point now I do run the risk of that not being perfectly centered so in order to ensure that that is perfectly centered okay because I've set up my dumpster and everything let me go ahead and delete that symmetry modifier instead of applying the symmetry modifier around the pivot point let's apply it around the edges here in the middle so if I double click on this and select that loop notice where the pivot point is now what I can do is I can go to modify and modifier list and then apply symmetry again and you'll notice that it will apply a symmetry around that point instead of the pivot point over here so let's go back to Z and you'll see now it's been perfectly symmetry right along the center so now I can right click convert to editable poly and there we go we've created the bar that we need for the lid now what we're going to do in our next lesson is we're going to build the actual lid uh, for this dumpster and with this next lesson we're going to talk about how to build objects um, kind of off at a diagonal angle and we're going to get more into working with the reference coordinate systems to help us out with that problem okay so I'll get started with that next